Thank you, everybody, for coming to the Aaron Torres Podcast YouTube page. If you could do me a quick favor, see that little subscribe button at the bottom of your screen? Go ahead, click that subscribe button. Really does help our channel grow, our audience grow, and I really do appreciate it more than you know. So click that subscribe button. Appreciate your support. Now, here's the video that you came here for. Ohio State perspective, because... To me, um, I, I do think that there really were two kind of separate reactions, in my opinion, to what we saw on Saturday with the from the Ohio State perspective. One, just a great game between two teams. But then there was also the, here we go again, Ryan Day can't win the big one. This guy cannot get the job done. And I'll be transparent. I'll just say this, okay? If you are somebody that believes that losing that game is an indictment that Ryan Day can't coach, I'm sorry, respectfully, no disrespect intended, you're a freaking idiot, okay? So let's go ahead and dive into this one because, listen, like I said off the top, incredible game, back and forth, three different lead changes in the fourth quarter. And from the Ohio State perspective, there were – Two plays that really went against you that had nothing to do with the coach that if they go your way, you probably win this game. The first one, the Jeremiah Smith pass interference call. I'm sorry, Ohio State fans. I don't think it was the worst call ever, but it was also one where they could have swallowed the whistle. They didn't have to throw the flag. If they don't throw the flag, you're in field goal range. You probably kick a field goal to win the game. Two, the Will Howard play. Feel bad for Will Howard. No, he didn't do it intentionally, but he had two good options on that play. Throw a quick pass, try to get to the sideline, pick up a few yards for field goal, throw it deep for the Hail Mary. He chose neither and ended up trying to run it. Obviously, slides before time exp- as time expires and you lose the game. So, one, that's not on Ryan Day. Two, here is a little secret about major college football and a little bit of just sports in general. Okay, I'm going to take you behind the curtain on something that I just don't think – a lot of people talk about enough when it comes to big time college football or big time NBA games, NFL games, college football game or NFL games, whatever. And that's this is that whether you have a situation with two great teams, whether you have a situation with two terrible teams, whether you have a situation with one team that's good and one team that's bad. Here's the crazy thing about sports that not a lot of people talk about enough. It's that guess what? One team has to win. And one team has to lose, okay? I know that's the craziest innovative thought that anyone has ever expressed about sports in general, but I'm sorry, it's hard for me to get mad at Ryan Day. And by the way, I have been the most critical Ryan Day person, I believe, in the national media when discussing this guy. Not that I don't like him. I want to welcome a new sponsor to the Aaron Torres pod, Blue Chew. Fellas, remember back in the day when you were always ready to go? Well, things change. You got a lot on your mind. Your football team isn't very good. Well, here's the good news. That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is an online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but at a fraction of the cost and in chewable form. To get started, it's so easy. Just go to bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. No awkward trip to the doctors, no waiting at the pharmacy, no stink eyes, no raised eyebrows, nothing. Thing is, though, I know a lot of you are probably wondering, Taurus, does it actually work? Do you think I need to try it? Well, here's the deal. Try it for a month for free, and I think there will be no turning back, all right? You'll love it. Your partner is going to love it. Your football team may stink, but you'll be rocking like the 85 Bears between the sheets. So go ahead, try it out, and here is the great news. We have a special offer for listeners of the Aaron Torres pod. You can try Blue Chew for free when you use the code TORRES at checkout. All you got to do is pay $5 in shipping. Go to bluechew.com, use promo code TORRES at checkout. You get Blue Chew for free for a a free month, and you only have to pay $5 shipping. Again, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. Thank you to Blue Chew for sponsoring the Aaron Torres podcast. Nothing personal against it, but I've talked about it for years. I've said, look, you know, don't, don't tell me his overall record. Don't tell me that this is a guy that, um, you know, is 67 and 7 or whatever it is now, 72 and 4, whatever the record is. 
You're not judged by beating Indiana and whatever. You're judged by beating Michigan, winning Big Ten championships, competing for national championships. And frankly, although they did compete for a national championship two years ago, they haven't done the first two. So I understand the criticism of Ryan Day. But when I saw the memes starting to float around, oh, he's one in seven against uh, top five teams, and he's lost this many games in bowl games, and he's lost this many games to Michigan. I get all that. But Saturday was not that. Saturday was two really good teams playing. One team has to lose, and the counter to that is this. I would actually feel better if I was Ohio State than I did coming into this game because you were one bad offensive pass interference away from being in field goal range with a chance to win it on the road against a top three team that I think can win those requisite playoff games to win a national championship. And so if you're Ohio State, I know the loss stings. But look at your schedule. It's a little bit tougher than Oregon's. It's a little bit tougher than Penn State's as well because you do have Nebraska in two weeks. you got to go to Penn State. Indiana is on the schedule as well. But just beat the teams that you're supposed to. Do that. You're going to get back to Indianapolis. You are going to get a chance to play Oregon very likely again because if you beat Penn State, I think you'll probably end up playing Oregon in that Big Ten championship game. You still have a chance to win the Big Ten to make the college football playoff, to win a national championship. And I'll tell you this, I watch college football all day Saturday, like everybody listening to this show. There are a lot worse situations you could be in than the Ohio State situation right now. If you're an Ohio State fan, would you trade your situation with Florida State? Don't think you would. Would you trade your situation with uh, you know uh, the, the, that school that wears maize and blue? I don't think you would. Would you trade your situation with USC and Lincoln Riley? Don't think you would. Would you trade your situation with Billy Napier in Florida? Don't think you would. Would you trade your situation with Kalen DeBoer in Bama? Don't think you would. And by the way, it doesn't mean it's perfect. doesn't mean you got to win games. But I just bring it up because if you're an Ohio State fan, it is hard for me to get too frustrated with that game because that was a game that was there for the taking. One call doesn't go your way. And it's unfortunate. But those are the breaks sometimes.